Thomas, good to see you. Good to see you. Thomas is a little slender. He's a little skinnier than Nick. Nick is a big man. Nick probably about 300 pounds, I imagine. And Thomas, you look like you could be a soccer player. <laughs> I've never played soccer. But wow, you never played? I haven't. Hey, this is a great check that on the <laughs> chest one of our checklists. A football player, a kicker who never played soccer. Mm -hmm. Didn't play the youth soccer. No nope. soccer. I played soccer maybe at age three or four. Wow. But I haven't played since then. That's amazing. So Thomas, no soccer, but uh, you've definitely been kicking the ball well. How did you get started kicking the football then? Um, freshman year, actually. I came in as a receiver. I wasn't really planning to kick, but um, like we were messing around, like a couple of us we were like kicking it off the ground, and um, Coach Hagen at the end of practice that day, they ended up having tryouts for kickers, and no one tried out, so they were like, they wow. just called me out and said he can kind of kick. So from there, they just so you didn't kick. Me. Well, I was in high school, right? Yes. What grade? Ninth year. grade? Yeah, ninth grade. And you had not kicked in middle school or for youth football, anything like that? I had not. I had not. I had not. Wow, <laughs> this guy discovered on the Page campus as a ninth grade or freshman kicker, and has done a great. So you, I mean. I I love to go back at the page kickers over the years. Matt Malizer, uh, Austin Anthony, then you had uh, Harrison Kaiser, and now we've got Thomas Murray. But all those guys before you, I mean, there's a great lineage. Did you, do you remember some of those guys? In the yeah, past? Harrison's a good friend of mine, and I learned a lot from him. He's, He's a great mentor. Doing a great job for Guilford College still. Yes. Saw him this past Saturday kicking against Hampton City against the Tigers, and Matt Malizer kicked for ECU. I think Austin Anthony may have played for Lenore Ryan or someone. He played in college. I think Austin Anthony might have been the guy. 2011 on the championship team, possibly, if that all falls in order. What do you think? I think that was Matt. Matt was Matt. in 2011? I think that was Matt. Okay. I can't remember. I think it went Matt then Harrison. He's taking Matt. I'm taking Austin Anthony. We'll <laughs> go back and check our background checkups. He was in that 2011 championship game. But some great kick. I mean, it's almost like everybody's. How many years you been kicking now? Um, four it's years. Just, it's almost everybody pays like a four-year kicker because I go back and I trace them all back to about 2011. In about 2010 or 8, but it's only been like four guys in the past close to 16 years. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot for the kicking job over there. Yes. Uh, when I first came on varsity, uh, Coach Xi was very much getting on me about how he did, did not want me to end the all-conference kicker of the year for uh for Paige, so I had to really work I think you got that. a good job to keep that going <laughs> even this year, too. What about my young man over there? I've seen this kid around at Mendenhall back in the day. I don't know if he's still kicking or not, if he's still working on him. Joseph Weathers Weathersby. Yes, he's currently a uh, sophomore right now on JV. He's yeah. doing very good. So he's on JV then? Yes. So he should be playing tonight. You guys got a JV home game against Northwest about 7, so Joseph is still doing the JV work and still doing some punting. Yes. So you got some other young kickers over there, too, right? Uh, yes, we have um, a junior Matt Camille, who I think from his sophomore to junior year has showed a lot of improvement and he'll definitely continue the tradition we have. Thomas Murray with us, Paige. Thomas, just give us a couple of shots about this year's games. I mean, the Eastern Grupper game, great game for you. The Eastern Scythe game, a big game for you. Uh, talk about the big moments you've had this season. Give me a couple of moments, some big moments in your memory. Um, I mean, we there's just been so many great moments this year, but um, the two potential, well, I guess the last game, the game winner, and then before that, South. I can't remember. We had a, it was a potential game over technically, technically, and we still we won the game off of that field goal. And those two games were huge. We didn't really kick field goals last year, so didn't kick a field experience. goals last year. Then no. no, we kicked two, and one got blocked, and one I missed. Wow! So you only <laughs> attempted two last year. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. This year you probably tried already maybe upwards of six or seven, maybe eight. I think we've we tried six. This wow, year, yes. that's a big jump, and uh, we've still got four games to play for you guys. Mm -hmm. Not bad at all. More. Are you liking the increased kicking uh, work? Yes. Yes, it, I'm it, liking it a lot the increased more. workload <laughs> with it goes some increased pressure, but you probably love that too. Yeah, it's very exciting. I mean, obviously, if I had missed the field goal, I don't know if I'd be saying the same thing. Well, but. I know, but man, <laughs> right now, you're one of the heroes of Guilford County. You and the Colin Smith guy from Eastern Guilford. You got the uh, Faraji Joseph kid from Dudley, very good kicker. Mm -hmm. Got some very good kickers in this thing. Got uh, Cody Creed, Northwest. Mm -hmm. Here's a big question. I got, don't, if, I, <laughs> if I forgot this, I'd shoot myself the next day talking to Thomas Murray. Uh, the Page Power Kicker. Did you train any with Don Osborne? I did not. I really should have gotten more. You've work heard of Don, though. Yes. Yeah, but you did not train with him. Mm -hmm. So who was your uh, like your personal trainer for your kick? And did you ask what you trained with? Um, 
really, I just kind of learned and practiced. I didn't really – I practiced on my own outside, but Coach Hagen was pretty much – Coach Hagen's the man that brought you along then. Coach Hagen and Harrison are the two people that – Now, who's the coach here this year? Is it still Coach Hagen? For kicking. For kicking, yeah. Um, this year, technically, the special teams coach is Bagamary, but Hagen still teaches me, like, technique and everything like that. So the old bag, Bagamary, is the man this year, huh? Yes. The old Greensboro College wide receiver. <laughs> so you're actually – you were going to be a receiver. you still got a receiver working with you now then. Yes. So a lot of your work that you're doing is uh, – Harrison's helped you quite a bit, you said. A lot of you should kind of do it on your own. Just do you, you like the kicker? I like to talk to these kickers. And, you know, and I played. I played, like, line, linebacker. Free, but I've become – these kickers are interesting characters over the years studying these guys. Now, when practice comes, you get over by yourself, down by the far goal post, and they send you, get out there, get your work in, man. You stand away from the rest of the team throughout practice, just stand there lonesomely kick it all day long? Um, I've seen I that mean, with several teams. Yes. We just try to still – go with the team like when we can but as I mean as a kicker we just do our own thing. And the good thing about you this day and time it's not just you you're not the only other guys also kickers with you you got probably two or three kickers that go down there with you. Yes we have five kickers this year. Wow. Two on JV and three on Marcy. Five guys working out down there. Yes. That's good because back in the old day like I said it was just one guy down by that goal sometimes mm -hmm. they'd send him up to the game field and the guy's been <laughs> in the practice field and what the guy would have to do he runs from the game field down to the practice field when practice over to get those last sprints in to get the job done then. Yeah I've done that a few times this year. <laughs> That's a net. You run for the game field, then I got you. Because the goalposts for you guys, none on the practice field, but uh -oh. some up on the game field. There's goalposts on both the practice and the game field. But gotcha. the practice field one's usually taken, so I go to the game field. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> covered. Thomas Murray, the page kicker. What are you going to do for college? I mean, you've got all this great kicking. you got this great resume, much better than anyone else I, we ever had. But what about uh, the college? The college coaches, they call and they talk, and are you getting ready for some of this? Um, I have... A few, a couple of Division One schools, and I have a small Division One offer, but I'm probably most likely going to just try to walk on into school and go for the academics, and then just go for the experience of football. Just kind of jump in with a kick in later. Yes. Any idea what your favorite school is? If you could, here's a good question. Like we can use it toward a question. If you could play for any ACC school, who would you play for? ACC. Hmm. I think I'd probably. Probably go to Carolina, maybe. Mm -hmm. I like their school a lot. I like the colors. Yep. It's a you great... got the colors on right now. <laughs> definitely, definitely. It's a great school. And uh, you mentioned the uh, ACC school. What, was there another school you're looking at possibly you want to go to? Um, I'm going to apply to state, and then I'm going to try to walk on there as a punter. If they don't accept me as a punter, I'll try as a kicker. Man, I could put a, <laughs> put a, put a vote in for you at state because the way their kicking deal worked out, the guy was at Carson Newman. He went to Carson Newman. Mm -hmm. He quit kicking all together, stayed out of kicking, and he transferred to state. Now look at this guy. Yeah. I can't remember his last name, but I see that guy on TV all the time, the state kicker, because he was a high school, he did pretty well in high school, not a big guy either, mm -hmm. but he went to Carson Newman, kicked there for a little bit, and got out of kicking, was through, then came back in state, brought him back and resurrected his career, doing a great job there. Yeah, he's doing great this year. So you may want to go to state, even though you like that blue, you may go to state <laughs> instead. But yeah, I mean, I'm just going to... Work to where I can, wherever I can go, whatever gives me the best opportunity. Guilford County has been uh, working pretty well uh, NC State this year. Got uh, the kid running back Gillespie. Got the defensive back Moorhead out of Eastern Guilford, Gillespie Southern Guilford. Uh, the guy Jermaine Pratt out of High Point Central doing quite well. Panthers play tonight. Graham Gano is he one of your main followers? You follow Graham Gano's kicking at all? I do watch Graham Gano a couple. Like whenever I watch the games, I try to focus on like what he does. Are you a big than Panthers I fan? I am. I do like the Panthers a lot. So Gano is one of the men you watch pretty close to him. Yes. Boy, you wanted to watch him a couple weeks ago. They had that big game to beat New England. I think it was a last second kick. It was like 54. Yeah, 50 and he missed an far. extra point of all things. He missed the extra point, but made the 50 plus yard field goal to win it by three points, 36 33. Do the Panthers win tonight? That's the hardest question we get here this evening. Do they win tonight? Yes. Going to beat the Eagles, said to go 5 and 1. I have them winning. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Again, with us, Thomas Murray. Any kicking uh, lineage or any kicking ancestors, any relatives in your family? Was there some guy who kicked? Ah, my grandfather, my uncle. <laughs> any family members were kickers? No, nah, the closest person, the the only person I know in my family that ever played football was my cousin who played quarterback in Texas. Wow. Well, that's the only person I know. Had some that's success played. there? Um, in high school, he had, he had a lot of injuries, like ACL, but he, was, he played pretty good at quarterback there. So Thomas Murray with us. Um, 
What got you interested to try for that Page team back, back about the ninth grade? I know you came on as a wide receiver early on. What got you interested to come on the team there? Um, I played at Mendenhall uh, my seventh and eighth grade year, and a lot of the people from that team, I enjoyed it, like Javon, Will. Um, I don't think Nick was there. A lot of success. Yeah, so, a lot of people, yeah, yeah. so I was like, maybe this is a sport for me. So I just went and tried it out, and I've liked it ever since. But a minute, all you did not kick. Um, no, I did not kick. I was strictly receiver and corner there. Wow, we almost had to get a lot of tractor machine out because it's hard to believe this guy just took up kicking in the ninth grade and what he's done so far. Do you ever go back and track your stats? How many extra points you've kicked over the years or field goals? I mean, how many? I mean, I'm still doing it fairly fast, but you, you've you've made most of your extra points over the years, right? Yes, last year I missed. Two or three total, mm -hmm. and this year I haven't missed any, so I'm trying to continue that. So let's don't worry about this year. We'll leave it like it is. Don't jinx that. But last year you missed a couple. Of three, either any of those blocked? I don't believe any were blocked. I think. Pretty sure I just missed them. I think what about the what about that state championship game the past two years? I mean, you guys played against Mallard Creek the first year, Wake Forest last year. What do you remember about those championship games? We just needed we needed to get some plays done, and we just couldn't really get it happen. But I mean, I thought it was a great experience. I was gonna say, so, had to be I mean, a great experience great, just yeah. to be on the field and be involved in those games. I enjoyed it a lot. Just being in the stadium itself was. Oh man, it had amazing. to be a good setting because I talked to some other player too a while back said like. You just said being at uh, Carter Finley Stadium, you want to go back there again and play there again in college. I do. And plus, you may not have been kicking extra points in last year's game, but you had the you had some kickoffs. So did, did the kickoffs hit the end zone? They didn't last year and this year. We I don't consistently technically get to the end zone, but I can. So we pooch it every time because that works. It's worked really well. We've recovered. So you go with the pooch kick. Yeah, we've recovered like this year. I think we have three fumbles off of it. So not a bad idea. So you kick the pooch kick. Yes. Do you kick it a deep pooch kick or a shorter pooch kick? I just try to kick it as high as I can to mm -hmm. about the 20 yard line. Man, that's a good idea. Yes. Sometimes you'll get them in worse field position <laughs> than they would if you kicked it in the end zone. Exactly. I challenge some people sometimes to do that because this day and time it's, like, it's, it's a great art to carry to kick it that deep. But it's a lot of star people aren't shooting anybody back inside the 20 anymore. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to get the ball back. Our kickoff team is, they're hunting heads. So oh, they, we're they trying to get it. the ball. Yeah. And you let them know exactly where it's going to go before you kick. Yes, every single time they're like, put it right here and I try my best to get it there. And my dream life, my other, my current life, would take me back to my other life, would be I always love to be on the kickoff team, but I never got a chance to try this like I want to. Is that guy kicks it high and deep. I run down, I catch the ball. The guy doesn't call for a fair catch, but sometimes they'll forget about the fair catch. Exactly. I go down and catch the ball. I'm down <laughs> to the five-yard line. It's, it's, a, it's a lot, like you said, it's 10 crazy. yards, anybody's ball. Mm -hmm. So that's another weapon you guys have got. Yep, that's what we try to use special teams when we can. Great stuff, great stuff. A couple of final questions for uh, Thomas Murray. You talk to this guy all night long. He is an outstanding kicker. If you were on that deserted island, who would you take with you from the Page team? It would be a lot better to be another person. It would be not totally deserted, but two people there. Hmm. Who do you hold Paul in with you there? Who would I take? Hmm. I don't know. I like everybody on our team, so it's kind of hard. I tell you, you might want to take him over. <laughs> I would probably take Assad. This man. Assad is a holder, huh? He is. Not the quarterback, but the uh, the receiver. Yes, he's every single time. If the ball is, if it's a bad snap, if it's a good snap, it's perfect hold every single time. Here's a question. I saw this on TV. <laughs> you probably saw it too. You watch a lot of kickers, but they had the TV call a while back. Does he turn the ball before you kick it any time? He does. Last year, uh, my soft. He's been a holder for me pretty much since freshman year, so we know each other pretty well. Um, so sophomore, he was trying to. He saw that on. TV, he was trying to do it. The last year he perfected it, so he and it works. It, it works very He's well. He's got time to turn the ball and get the, get the, uh, yes. the threads exactly where they need to be. Yes. And they're <laughs> facing the goalpost threads, yeah. I haven't kicked the laces yet. <laughs> Man, that's great stuff. Great stuff. That's a good thing. Good thing there. Now, who's the coach to get you guys off the island? <laughs> to get us off the island. Yeah, who can get you out of the state <laughs> and back to where you need to be back on the paid sideline? Um... I'd go with Coach Hagen. That man, he's a Swiss Army knife. <laughs> he's been around you guys for a while, right? Yes. He's he's one of the holdovers from the, from the previous staff. Yes. He's he's been there. I don't know how long. Some for time, a long for time. A long time. Yes. So Coach, Coach Hagen, you put a lot of trust in him. I do. Gotcha. Thomas Murray with us. And you said your kicking coach this year is Tim Bagamary, and then plus Harrison Kaiser helps you on the side as well with some of your teaching this year. Yes. Gotcha. 
Coach Raffles makes the call, though. You don't make the call about let's go for it or let's kick it. <laughs> no, I don't make the call. It's Raffles. He's on top of that there. Coach Raffles right on top. Like now, what do, you, what do you – you like it so far? It's been good. Yes. Good stuff. Yeah. Increases your workload for the young man, uh, Harrison uh, – not Harrison, but uh, Thomas Murray. Harrison Kaiser, Thomas Murray, uh, Austin Anthony, and Matt Malizer. Great group of young kickers from Page. Now, um, what are you guys going to do to win the game tomorrow night? Same thing we've been doing. Uh, our defense has been great. They've been stepping up every game. Um, our offense, I've seen so much improvement since the first game of the year to now. So I think that as long as we just keep doing what we've been doing, I think we're going to be good. Now, what are you doing during the game time? A quick question as we get ready to close out with Thomas Bray. Are you watching this game intent on the sidelines? Are you jotting down some notes? Are you checking the win? What are you doing during the game? I just kind of I try to stay social on the sidelines so I don't really have to think about it. I mean, obviously, I pay attention to the game to make sure I know when I have to go game in. Game situation. But, yes, but I, I just try to stay social and, like, forget and kind of relax. Do you encourage the team by yelling and screaming at the defense or offense anyway? Or? I don't really scream at anybody, but I mean, I like, I, I give them a lot of encouragement when they come to the sideline. They know you're there. Yeah, yeah, they know, yeah, exactly. He's on your side, <laughs> Thomas Murray. How about 10 years from now? What do you see yourself doing? Where will you be 10 years from now? 10 years from now. 10 years down the road. I would hope to be kicking in the NFL, but we'll see how that goes, but I'm going to go to college and my major is going to be biology, so I intend to go into like the field of like doctors and stuff like that, medicine. Good stuff, so we'll learn the medicine. Thomas, excellent job, good to talk to you. Good to talk to you. I hope to see you again down the road somewhere. If it's in NC State, see you there, it should be excellent. Good <laughs> yes. luck to you. Good, thank thank you. you much. Thomas Murray from the Pace Pirates, Coach